Welcome to Joster Reviews, a show I started just now where I use my critical skills to poorly analyze a movie or something. Today's episode, the latest DCEU movie, Shazam! First, let's talk about the good. I really like the themes of the movie. It was all about family and accepting the one you have. There were layers upon layers about this in the movie, and it would have taken a whole video to explain them all. Also, the story had some really dark moments that were handled really well, such as the villain's flashback and when Billy finds out that his mom abandoned him on purpose. Oh yeah, there's gonna be spoilers in wow. here. Speaking of that, the story t had a couple of twists that really surprised me, such as the whole mom bit and the part at the end where the entire Foster family turned into superheroes. That was awesome. That brings up another thing. The trailer didn't really give anything away because with the most because with most trailers, they at the very least give away the best jokes of a movie, but this surprisingly did not do that. Now let's talk about the characters. All the actors did really well, especially Zachary Levi. Well, except two, but we'll get back to that. Billy was especially good. I know I'm keeping these points brief, but I'm on a deadline to write this, so... So let's talk about the CGI. It was mostly perfect. Everything involving lightning or super speed was amazing. But the CG on the Seven Deadly Sins was a bit dodgy. Again, it was mostly perfect, but some shots with them looked kind of off. And the action was top-notch. Now let's talk about my favorite part, the comedy. I love movies that make me laugh a lot, like the Lego Batman movie or Thor Ragnarok. But I do have to give Shazam credit because unlike Thor Ragnarok, the comedy didn't undercut serious emotional moment. It was laugh a minute funny for me at least, but then again, I'm just a stupid 14 year old, so what do I know? I really liked the horror elements of the movie as I was genuinely frightened at some parts. And the DCEU connections were handled really well. You really felt like you were in a world where Batman and Superman and Aquaman were respected characters. There are some negatives, but none are major deal breakers. Dr. Savannah Zivon was a really good villain in the first act. I thought that he was really well set up, but he just turned into a generic bad guy in the second and third act. What does he want in the first act? Revenge. That's understandable. That works well. What does he want in the second plus third act? Power. This is not it. Now for my next gripe, the Shazam dynamic. I really liked both Child Billy and Grown Up Shazam. He really felt like a kid in an adult's body, but not this kid. They feel like completely different human beings. Two very good human beings, mind you, but not the same one. Child Billy was a moody teen, and Adult Billy was basically Jimmy Fallon as a superhero. How does turning into a superhero give Billy a sense of humor? Also, am I the only one who thinks it's weird that saying Shazam somehow gives Billy the wisdom of Solomon, but he's actually goofier as a superhero? For my last negative, Billy's mom. Again, the scene where Billy was reunited with his mom was so emotionally powerful. You could feel the tension in the room. Wait, we we're talking about negatives. Frick. Anyway, I thought she was just kind of an awful person. I mean, who just up and leaves their kid? I get that she might have been, not been responsible enough to raise him, but if that were the case, then why not just put him up for adoption as soon as he's born? She was just such a bad parent. By and large, Shazam was a really good movie. It had good themes, great characters, good visuals, amazing comedy, and an okay villain. It may not have been a perfect movie, but it's still a heck of a lot better than my review. <laughs> okay, now before we get to the end segment, I'm, I have something that I want to say. Dear Warner Brothers, please don't copyright flag me.
I know you, you've had troubles with other YouTubers and them including trailer footage in their videos. Even though um, they're mostly using them for fair use, you guys still seem it, deem it necessary to copyright flag them. And I'm just saying, please don't do that to me. Um, th this will it'll do nothing but hurt both of us. Actually, no, it probably won't hurt you. Um, I don't want to be copyright fla flagged because, A, this is fair use. Like, this is criticism. That falls under the category of fair use. And also, um, you guys gain nothing from copyright flagging a um, small YouTube channel who is actively promoting your film. I just don't get the point of that. So, in order to... So, so in order to avoid being copyright flagged, I decided to, um, A, re turn the footage backwards, and also, um, include this a little bit. Okay, so, now that that's out of the way, let's cut to the end segment. Hello, everyone, and, to and for today's end segment... I will be doing the Hogwarts Sorting Hat Quiz. So let's get started. Okay. The Sorting Ceremony. Duh. Okay. Force River. River easily. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Um, probably some sort of owl. I mean, I wouldn't want to take a snowy owl because that's what everyone chooses, and I want to fight the system. So, how about brown owl? Yeah, I like brown owl. Once every century, the Flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt to their scent to attract the eon wary. If it lured you, what would it smell of? Um, I'm just going to choose out of these, so let's go. A crackling rock fire, the sea, fresh parchment, home. Probably the sea. Yeah, the sea, definitely. If you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Um, miss you, but smile. That's what most cares about your adventures. Um, think with admiration of your achievements. I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's me. What road tempts you most? Um, the wide, sunny, grassy lane. No. No. The twisting leaf zoom path through woods. No. Um. Yeah, that seems like me. Couple street lined with ancient buildings. If you could have any power, which would you choose? I mean, I would want super speed, but I don't think it's going to be on here. Power to read minds. Um, power of invisibility. Superhuman strength. Speak to animals. Yeah, that would probably be it. Speak to animals. Which would and you find the most difficult to deal with? Boredom, yeah, easily. Heads or tails? Heads. Yay, I'm in Ravenclaw. That's what I was hoping for. Ravenclaws are awesome. Oh, and please ignore the fact that that says JXE. I just thought it would be humorous to do that because um, it's no one's actual name. I mean, I guess you could say that it is the my favorite YouTuber's name, but that's just his stage name. So we got some of the other quizzes, like... The Patronus one, and the Wand one, and the Overmorning one. But, let's say, if this video gets, um, let's say, 15 likes, then I'll do, um, the rest of these. Comment which ones you want me to do first. So, peace out, see you next time, bye.